Okay, okay, we're coming. It's Doc. He, want, he wants to show us his latest invention, working with uh, solar energy, I think. And uh, he wants to explain us the, how it works and what future application we can expect. Cool, let's go. Hi, Doc. Hi. So that's the time machine? Yes, it's uh, finally ready for testing. It's a revolution, it's so genius. It's the most amazing solar technology ever seen. It's... Oh, crap. The Libyans, the fuck? Stop one day, you make it. <laughs> What just happened? I think the car is broken. But where are we? You mean when are we? You're right. I think the time machine worked. Oh. Yeah, you're right. We were stuck in 1982. Come on. We need to find Doc and repair, repair the time machine. Doc, Doc, we need you! What the hell? Who are you? You need to fix the photovoltaic system so we can go back to the future. Okay, if you help me, I think we can do that. Let's summarize this. Martian and Alex told us it's functioning with light and use the connectivity of the silicon. Yeah, but don't forget, uh, silicon is not a conductor, it's a semiconductor. Yeah, you're right. It's a semiconductor. We don't need a conductor where the, where the electrons can be either in the connection band or in the valence band. Yeah, and however, we never need a, an insulator because the, the energy gap is too wide. The electrons can pass from the valence band to the conduction band. In the case of a semiconductor, the electron can cross the energy gap. The photon from the light will allow that. At the collision, each photon will give his energy to an electron allowing him to cross the gap. In this case, the silicon becomes a conductor. Mm. I also think we should incorporate our doping technology. Yeah, it provides a higher voltage. Yes, thanks to the presence of electrons and the holes in the matter. Yeah, we would gain inefficiency. So, the electrons from this terminal will go to the other terminal. If all of this works, we will be able to send them back to the future. They told us about diets and the model have been known for years. Yeah, here is a relationship between current and voltage. We can see that current grows exponentially with voltage. We also get a larger current at low temperatures. I wonder why they're talking about diets. I think they were talking about the cell. In fact, according to me, you have to lighten it to produce current. Well, to make it work, we need a light voltage. This voltage will be induced by the, uh, by the frequency of light. Yeah, that's it. Uh, it will allow electrons to cross the gap and then to produce current. And the relationship between the light voltage and the frequency of light is known. Yeah. They are related by this relation. And this frequency is induced by the wavelength and the speed of light. Now let's consider the panel. We have to put multiple cells together to have enough current to power the time machine. Also, we have some diodes in parallel to have current even if a cell is not lightened. So Doc, is the car ready to go? Yeah. Tonight? 10 o'clock. You go back to the future.
Oh man, not again. I think duck put the wrong setting. Oh, a new duck? Oh, so you might be the one he talked about. Yeah, but who are you? We were his assistants. All right, come, come inside. We have to show you something. Please take a seat, thank you. So, you have to know that uh, many things have changed since the death of Doc. First of all, it's possible today to store in batteries the electrical energy produced by the panel during the day. Then, this energy can be used in the evening to power your house. Since 2012, the energetic efficiency of the panels evolved well. Oh, nice! And uh, how did you achieve that? We worked out thermal sensors consisting of a cesium semiconductor. The sensors make it possible to recover the waste heat during the process of luminous energy conversion. Then we elaborated a new technique of doping. This technique used uses two different layers of silicon from two different natures. You can see on the picture an amorphous silicon cell in junction with a polycrystalline silicon cell. This process makes it possible to convert a greater quantity of luminous energy. Today we have reached an efficiency of approximately 40%. And now a lot of people benefit from photovoltaic electricity. Indeed, a part of Europe is now powered thanks to a solar energy station established in the Sahara Desert. And you have to know that more than 400 billion euros were necessary to work out this project. It was very interesting. Thank you for this information. It will be very useful for our future.